had the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact, quite angular, quite blocky, very thick at 9.5 millimeters, quite weighty at 137 grams. But then it does have a 2,300 milliamp hour battery in the back there. The very pronounced buttons stick out quite far. The camera button, dedicated camera button, although you have to press quite hard to get it to launch and then it launches in the camera mode. It is waterproof. You get warnings if you've been charging your device if the flap's open, but if you're not charging the device, no warning at all. Um, the hardware is the regular sort of standard Snapdragon 800 chipset, quite 400 CPU and Adreno 330 GPU with two gig of RAM. NFC is included. The screen is 1280 by 720p, 4.3 inch screen, means 342 pixels per inch. The speaker's reasonably loud, but a little bit tinny. So not too bad, that's the base base you're going to get from it. The camera rear facing is 20.7 megapixel. Seems pretty good, although not perhaps quite as good as, I, as I'd hoped. So one picture I took here, there was quite a bit of light bleed from the left hand side. You can't tell so well on this, but it's a slightly washed out when I compare it to the Note 3 picture, which has much stronger colors to it. A little bit disappointing. The front facing camera is two megapixel. Gives very good results, um, like this one. Good detail, good color. All around pretty impressive. The software is Android 4.3 with the 4.4.2 upgrade plan. The Sony theme um, isn't that far from stock. It's, it's fairly unintrusive and not too different to standard Android. There are changeable themes which you can download. Um, you can change the toggles on the top bar, which I quite like. I am stuck though, unfortunately, with an ugly NFC icon for having NFC on. The notification is on icons in the app drawer. So if I show you Update Center, that app has one notification for me. So it's got a one on it. If I have any in Facebook, they seem to appear on the Facebook icon, which is quite nice. The standard keyboard lacks uh, short cuts to uh, numbers though and other other things that I would expect as a standard really if I hold down on one of these and other apps oh that's got some shortcuts but not to not to numbers as I've mentioned the battery is 2,300 milliamp hours probably why it's a slightly larger phone I'm fine with that it gives very good life from what I can tell but I've only had it for a few days GSM Arena rated 30% better than Nexus 5 and even actually slightly better than Note 3 as far as battery life. Hackability on XTA developers there don't appear to be any runs at the moment but it is quite a new device only around a month maybe that'll change in time all around Really nice device, it's very stylish, well designed, very sturdy, uh, good enough operating system as in the overlay is, is fine and, and quick and slick. Um, probably me, the biggest drawback is the speaker. I was a little disappointed by the camera, but the camera is still very good. So all in all, very good device, the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact.